It is such a pleasure to welcome once again to Good Day, Maureen McGovern singing Here You Come Again. Do that at this hour. I want to know. <laughs> great to see you, Maureen. Good to see you really too. good to see you. Come and sit down. Let's have a chat. No That's worries. from your newest album called State of the Heart, and I loved reading about the whole thing behind this album about a woman's heart in the 80s. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty treacherous time to be a woman, a it single is. woman in the 80s here. But uh, yeah, um, I'm lucky that the the uh, the album features uh, six songs written by two very dear friends of mine. Uh, lyrics by Judy Barron and Jeff Harris, my Jeff musical Jeff Harris, conductor. thank you. Beautiful playing. Yeah. Oh. And in a few minutes I'll do a song that, that they wrote. Uh, but they wrote the title song, State of the Heart, and uh, many of the songs on the album. Also, Another Woman in Love from the last album. So it's not, it's hard for a singer who, who loves strong melodies, strong lyrics, uh, intelligent, witty lyrics, to, to find contemporary writers that can write things, that, you know, that are very current And today. it's interesting that Ron... So I'm lucky I've got... got yes, but Ron and Judy Barron go all the way back. He was your teacher in Ohio, wasn't he? They've known me since I was 14. So my they know how to write My manager you. has known me since I was 14. They, they first heard me singing, uh, playing guitar and singing Christmas carols and folk music in an antique shop. Oh. And they said, this voice, this kid. And Judy <laughs> wrote a song called On My Way to You. Is, is that... Right. No, actually, uh, Michelle Legrand and the Bergmans. Michelle Legrand and the Bergmans wrote a song to close the album, which is is quite a thrill. I mean, I've loved Michelle's writing for years, and as well as the Bergmans. And doesn't that have a personal message, though? Well, it's it's funny because they didn't know what 
what the album was about or what, what our co concept for the album was. And they just, we'd been talking for years about them writing something for me. And um, so they were writing sort of in a void. They knew they were going to write a song for the album. And Michelle was on his way to Brazil and the, the Bergmans were on their way to Japan. And somehow in midair, they wrote this glorious song that not only happens to be the perfect song to end the album, um, it just, they end up writing the story of my life. Uh, the twists and turns. Beautiful, and yeah, is on my way to you. Uh, you have, you're managing your life now. You've taken a lot of control mm -hmm. over it. It wasn't always true, and is that, I think that often happens to performers, doesn't it? Yeah, I was a, a very shy, completely non-assertive person, <laughs> and uh, you know, was sort of swept away in the beginning of my career. I mean, I had a number one gold record in the country, and I was working uh, through my first management, had me working at a uh, lounge in the outskirts of Pittsburgh for a month, you know, <laughs> and I gave him a, a, a contract, signed a contract with him, signing, uh, guaranteeing him 40% of my earnings, you know, oh so it's just the dumb things you do in the beginning. Did you turn and it around with Pirates of Penzance on Broadway? I walked away from recording in 1979. After I recorded Superman, Can You Read My Mind, which I loved, uh, and Different Worlds from Angie, I did another album. I mean, all the, the hits I'm grateful to, but the albums that I recorded really had, you know, were other people's choices. They didn't have anything to do with me personally, and I didn't feel a connection to them. So um, I walked away from recording and decided to explore other things that I love to do and uh, perfectly content not to record again until I could do it on my own terms. And now you are. So I spent two years on Broadway and had a great time and uh, in fact we're going, going into the studio uh, later this month and uh, Judy and I also write children's material and so we're going to start on You our and Judy Barron. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you are involved, let me tell you, this lady gives so much of herself and not just because, you know, as a performer you need to do a little. I mean, she is on the board of Covenant House, works for muscular dystrophy, works very hard on the anti-nuclear issue. Yeah. I mean, you really are involved, people's issues. It's hard. I mean, this, the schedule that I keep, you know, the pulls me in many, many directions, but I think you have to get involved with the things uh, that you love and care about. Too. And your you have voice. to give back. Your voice, your range. I'm telling you, every time I hear you, I can't believe it. I, when you did Of the I Sing, PBS, the Gershwin stuff. Uh, right. You'll sing first lady. Album, State of the Heart, a song called Why Can't I Forget, Maureen McGovern. I have the world's worst memory many times a day. Say, where did I put my keys? Where have I put my purse? Where else should I be? It's perverse. A life of hide and seek. I never know the day that worse, the day of the week. So why can't I forget the day I met him? He held the door and let me go. Rushing to our separate lives, we took a walk instead. Why can't I forget him and every word he said? I'm always sending Christmas cards, they're more interesting in spring. Only my banker knows the checks I forgot to sign. Where did I get these clothes? They're not mine. Myself a list of things I really have to find, but where is that list? So why can't I forget the summer evenings? He'd wait for me outside our small cafe. We were both like kids again. We had so much to say. Never 